his living playing country blues guitar. His audiences are not enormous, but they are devoted, and admirers include Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits. Steve was born in Leeds in 1948. His father taught sculpture at Leeds College of Art, and Steve developed an early interest in painting. His first job was as a painting and furniture restorer here in Leeds City Art Gallery and at nearby Temple Newsome House. skills have led him into several careers, as a builder of treasured acoustic guitars, as a painter of valued landscapes, and as a guitarist's guitarist. We celebrate Steve Phillips in his hometown Leeds and in concert at the Band on the Wall in Manchester. That's me when I was four. My father did that. First time I came into the Leeds Art Gallery and was seriously impressed with pictures. It was probably when I was about 17. I saw the Atkinson Grimshaw picture of the old mill, which completely took my breath away. Uh, it was the first time I'd seen a picture which had a look of the, the way I see through my eyes. It had that same kind of look to it. So I think I resolved then, if I took up painting, I wanted to try and work in that kind of a way, in that kind of detailed way. The period when I painted was from 1979 to about 85. Uh, and I made my living for, for virtually all that period completely from paintings. I took a photograph or a series of photographs of the scene. After I got the satisfactory photographs, I uh, usually did a pastel sketch to sort out the colours. Then I'd make an outline drawing, which would be transferred straight onto the surface I was going to paint on. That was a gesso panel, which is glue and chalk surface. And it's very smooth and you can sand it to a completely smooth finish so you can paint in great detail. Just crazy about you, don't like the way you do. How can you mistreat me? Say you love me too. I'm gonna leave you, then you know I'm through. But you always hear daddy sing this song, you know daddy crazy about you.
Ah, babe, I'm just crazy about you. I don't like the way you do. How can you mistreat me? Say that you love me too. Someday you want me, I'll be so far from you. Then you will be sorry, baby, do me like you do. Stop a tattler. There ain't no need of you trying. Just as long as this world lasts, you're gonna find somebody lying. Or oh, deliver me from a woman or either a man. You know that it's all a go. It will go about from house to house. Tell everything they know. People are to quit a tattling. I tell you the reason why. They may be gone know what they're talking about maybe they're kind of lies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's lots of good men who want to marry they want to live well at home we're afraid every time the back turn, there's a man there. He asking, darling, is he gone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me. Men are to make good husbands. And quit trying to live a fast life. Going around dressing up other women. He won't put clothes on his own wife. furniture, cleaning sculpture, that kind of work. Oh, well, quite often when uh, the attendants would go around in the morning, they'd find something had dropped off a bit of furniture, literally, piece dropped off. So that'd be brought down and you'd have to decide whether that had to be glued on straight away or whether it could be left a while or, or things develop splits and all kinds of things, you know, as, as old antiques do. Once I live a life for a millionaire Spending all my money I did not care I take my friends out for a good time Buying bootleg whiskey, champagne and wine But when I began to fall so low I didn't have a friend Got no place to go. It's mighty strange without any doubt. Nobody knows you when you down and out. But if I ever get back on my feet again, then I'm gonna meet up with all my long lost friends. If I ever get my hands on a dollar again. I'm gonna hold on to it till that eagle grins. 
nobody knows you when you down and now in my pockets not one penny and my friends I just haven't got any but when I began to fall so low I didn't have a friend got no place to go it's mighty strange without any doubt nobody knows you when you down and out I mean when you're down and out When you down and out mm, Not one penny And my friends I haven't got any mm, Began to fall so low I didn't have a friend Got no place to go It's mighty strange Without any doubt no, I can use you when you down and out. I mean when you down and out. I'd like to bring a couple of friends of mine on now. Brendan Croker and Mark Knopfler, please. Sort of way. Got no piano by Nate to the bop and he kicks out the boogie on the old guitar. He played a hillbilly boogie in a low down way. He can play the boogie, play for you any old day. about 18 years ago now and I saw Steve playing in a, a blues club in Leeds and uh, I was in the audience and he he showed up uh, with his national steel guitar and I wanted a national then but I had never actually seen one and um, I was I was really captivated by Steve's performance anyway and um, I thought this is for me This is a national steel guitar. Made in about 1935. Solid nickel silver. It's a custom built one. It's probably the only one in the country. It's a beautiful thing. It's engraved by the by the guys at the Selma, the guys who used to come out of the Selma factory and work on these at the nights and, and do the engraving on them. Just have a look at the back. Just look at that. I'm very lucky. A metal treat we're going to have now. <laughs> Yes, pretty mama, can I come home with you? What'd she say? She said, yes, 
yes, daddy gonna have some fun tonight. She yes, daddy gonna have some fun tonight. You gotta give him a bundle over that thing, gonna be all right. I learned a tremendous amount about uh, early music through Steve's record collection, you know, and from playing with Steve, which was country blues and ragtime and western swing and uh, Hawaiian music and you name it. I mean, there was all kinds of stuff that we were learning how to play. That had a very strong bearing, I think, on the development of a style. By and large, it was, it's, it's been the most important, or one of the most important musical educations, you know, that I've had. And we were all really going through it together, you know. Well, we start out at midnight, we rock till the break of dawn. Well, we start out at midnight, rock till the break of dawn. Whatever he does, he's on music. That's that's the, the important thing. That if you go and play with him, you play with somebody who's really playing. It's not a, it's not a joke, or you're not pretending to be somebody from from dim, distant you know, here. It's what you see is what you get. It's just Steve playing. felt at home and I've never veered I've never veered away from that since it's a feeling and you, you either pick up on it or you don't it doesn't matter what color your skin is you can play blues the idea that that blues is uh, linked to being miserable is erroneous. It's a lot of fun in it. A lot of it's dance music. So some of it is lonesome music, but a lot of it's a lot of fun. These guitars are the best acoustic guitars that anybody could ever hope to uh, to own uh, uh, Brendan and I both are, are uh, self congratulating owners of uh, Steve's guitars and uh, his, then he was working for Leeds Art Gallery when I knew him and restoring antique furniture where he learned a lot about that sort of thing he, he learned a lot for, for himself I mean which is another thing that's really interesting about the way Steve would approach learning a, an old song or something he always, it was amazing to me the way he would go into detail about it. I could never do that. I would always just grab the, try and get the overall spirit of the thing and just, I just go along good. with it. But Steve would uh, get right inside the thing itself and uh, his paintings are like that. And it's almost photographic detail. The interest in Grimshaw, you know, you can see where all that comes from. The other thing I think that bugs is about the guitars, it drives us wild because they're so good, is he's actually, why do guitars sound well? Like, what's the, what's the process that makes them sound well? And gone to amazing pains, hasn't he, to, oh. to actually beat the thing that he first, well, for us, the, the thing that he first looked at, to actually get right down to the essence of it. He's got good eyes and good ears. Excellent. Be with us. in a 
a dream of you Where is the love I once knew Why did we part Without you, dear, wishing your heart could heal. What's in my heart? Why? It's a lot of skills and things which are lost now. When I, when I, it's like when I look at pictures. When I look at old guitars, and when I listen to good blues records, there's a lot of skills in those things, a lot of wonderful things which have been lost, which have been forgotten. And I quite simply wish to know about them, how they work. So if that's living in the past, all right, I live in the past, but uh, I'm actually going out and playing these things to people, painting these pictures. That's other people's view of it, it's not mine. Why must I have sleepless nights and endless days? But love, you left my soul without a thought. press often dictate uh, those who make a living whether it's actually good for you or not um, sometimes doesn't seem to matter but you've seen a whole bunch of people have a wonderful time today um, and that's how it should be it, it sort of is almost you have to tell people sometimes that it's all right for you is this there's nothing wrong with it it's just uh, belief and uh, a total love affair with what he's with what he's about what he's doing. Because you're talking about somebody who's absolutely in love with what he does. On life's long highway, we travel on. Dreams of you have all begun. Listen to me, people. I'm just a wayfarer through this world. So many times I spent alone So many things that I did wrong Can you not see I'm just a wayfarer through this world Won't you set my heart free? I'm 
I'm just a wayfarer through this world. 